Candle Science dropped seven brand new fragrance oils. This month, I had to grab a few, of course, so let's dive in and get my first impressions. Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. It has been a minute since we sat down and did some first impressions. So without further ado, let's dig in. I'm going to say right off the bat, there are seven oils. I only picked up four. If you know me and you are not new to the channel, you know I'm not digging the gourmand fragrances. I just don't think they work in my line. I don't love them. I know there are some great ones out there, but it's just not for me or my business. However, if you love the gourmand, I just want to take a quick note to share that those fragrance oils are maple sugar, amaretto madeline, and crystallized ginger and cardamom. I have to be honest, I was on the fence about that ginger and cardamom one because I was like, is it gonna smell like fall? Is it just gonna smell fresh? Can I blend that with something? Make it, you know? But I, at the end, I ended up not getting it. So if you're looking for a review or first impressions on those, I don't have those. But you know what I do have? Fog and fern. Let's dig in. All right, the fragrance notes for fog and fern are top notes of ozone and bergamot middle notes of lavender and mint, and a base of moss, earth, and juniper. And this is candle, soap, lotion, and diffuser base approved. Ah, let's get into it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to sound underwhelming. Um, here's the thing, it's, it smells good. It's very mossy, it's very earthy, it's grassy. It's, I would say redwoods and moss is better. Uh, it's more complex. Yeah, it's just super earthy. A little vibrancy from the mint. Um, it's good. I would definitely blend this. Maybe with redwoods and moss. <laughs> it's good. It's, um, it's citrusy. I'm getting citrus now. Oh yeah, bergamot. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, that's my chair. <laughs> Um, I guess it's missing something. So I think this is a great candidate to blend. Depending upon which direction you want to go in, you could blend this with something floral, you could add more citrus, or you could just dive right in with some more, um, like Palo Santo or Sandalwood, or even Cedarwood Blanc would be great with this. Okay, this is good. I don't hate it, I'm just like, you know, it's not what I imagined it would be, so that's okay though. Let's shift gears and let's get into Yuzu Blossom. I am so intrigued. Can you see? I am so intrigued by this. This isn't something I normally would gravitate towards, but I have been trying this year to be open-minded. Oh my gosh, Just out, I just opened the cap and... <laughs> getting grapefruit. Um, I'm just trying to be more open-minded and, and uh, smelling and picking up fragrance oils that I normally wouldn't be drawn to. And Yuzu Blossom is definitely one of them. All right, let's check it out. Top notes of bergamot, grapefruit, and mandarin. Okay. The middle is passion fruit, jasmine, sea salt, and yuzu. And the base is cedar and amber. And this is candle, soap, lotion safe. It is not diffuser base approved. Interesting, if you are a diffuser-based person. Oh, oh my gosh. Very fruity. Grapefruit straight in front. Grapefruit, which is so lovely. Yeah, and then you're getting that the orange, the, the bergamot, the mandarin. Yeah, and passion fruit is super sweet too. It's really good. The jasmine is very, very light, very light floral. It's mostly frutal. Frutal? <laughs> frutal. It's a brand new accord. Check it out. Frutal TM. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is delicious. You know what I would do with this? This would make a gorgeous soap. I mean, this would also be a really good like shampoo and conditioner bar. Oh yeah, this is so lovely. It is so bright. It's incredibly vibrant. 
Oh, I love it. I think the main things that are carrying this is the passion fruit, passion fruit, the grapefruit, and the mandarin. This is lovely. And obviously, I can't speak today. Grapefruit. Oh yeah, very very nice. Love it. I am very excited to smell this one as well. This is white orris and sandalwood. Come on, baby. I am super hyped for this. All right. We have top notes of sea salt and honeydew melon. The middle is violet, fig, and orris. I love orris. I've been playing a lot with the orris accord and making perfumes. I'm so drawn to it. The base is sandalwood, amber, and musk. And this is candle, soap, lotion, and diffuser base approved. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh. Mm. This smells like, this smells like a shampoo that I've used. Is this a rebay or is this, oh my gosh, this smells like a, a shampoo that I used to use. And I would totally put this in a shampoo or a soap. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. It almost, it almost smells, God, is it? Is it, is it Uwe? Is that how you say it? It is one of these freaking shampoo conditioners. I'm telling you, that's what this smells like. Oh my God, it is so good. I feel like, oh gosh, it's gonna blow my mind. I should see if anyone, hold on, let me look in the comments. Has anybody said that this smells like another? Ugh, no. Very similar to Palo Santo with a bit of floral. I disagree. No, I disagree. Oh my gosh, this is freaking good. I, I mean, maybe because there you can definitely get the sandalwood, but I don't think it smells like Palo Santo. It smells very delicious. Yeah, it is musky, but it's, yeah, the sea salt, and I think it's the orris that I'm really picking up here. I have got to figure out what this reminds me of. Oh my God, if you have this and you have smelled it, what shampoo and conditioner brand does this smell like to you, right? That is a number one candidate for a body product, hair product. Yes, 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 yes. This one is probably the most unique. The one that was like number one, I can't wait to smell this. And then it was like Yuzu and the White Oris. Um, it's leather and labdanum. I have so much trouble saying labdanum. I had to look at it to make sure I said it right. This one, everyone in the groups, it's been hit or miss. You either love it or you're like, I don't get it. I think I'm gonna be that person that gets it because I already love labdanum <clears throat> and I love leather. Like I love playing in that sandbox of all of those like whiskeys and leathers and smoke and oud and <clears throat> labdanum. Let's get into it. Let me see. Top notes are clove and bergamot. The middle is rose. Oh, interesting lavender and labdanum. The base is leather, tobacco leaves, amber. Grrr. All right, it is candle soap, lotion, and diffuser base approved. Let's give it a swirl. I'm so freaking excited. Oh, grrr. oh my gosh. Oh, this is gorgeous. It almost has like reminiscent of black opium perfume. Holy shit, I, sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm getting the leather and the smoke like right up front followed by the labdanum. The rose is so unexpected. It's there, but holy moly. I, yeah, and the tobacco. I, Love this. Oh my gosh. What do people think? Do they love it? Oh, there's one review. I need to write a review. Exquisite. Yeah, it is. It is the most true leather scent and their leather is good, but I think blended with tobacco. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. Number one candidate for a men's beard oil, a shave soap, I think this would be gorgeous in a soap. I'm curious to see how it performs. This would make a dope candle, if you dare. I don't think you need to blend it with anything. I definitely wanna see how it performed in a candle. What is there, soy? All right, three leaves. 
Okay. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, okay. Just because of who I am, I'm all over the place. All right, all right, all right. Here's the thing. Top three for sure are Yuzu, Leather, and White Ores. What are my faves? Shoot. Oh gosh. Okay, I think my faves are, in this order, Leather and Latinum, White Ores and Sandalwood, and Yuzu Blossom. Listen, Fog and Fern is great. It's just not anything super special. It's pretty basic. And it's almost like this would be, you could turn this into something really nice in the fall, maybe with um, woodland snow. And this, I think, would be really nice. I'm going to try that. But anyway, that's, that's it. This is, wow, that was really fun. Really quick. Did you pick up any of these fragrance oils from Candle Science? If you did, what is your favorite? Please comment below. I love chatting with y'all and getting to know you. It is so much fun. It just is another plus to making these videos and putting my five head on, <laughs> on YouTube. Five head crowd, what up? Um, I love making these videos too. It's so much fun. So if you wanna hang out and continue to watch more fragrance oil first impressions videos i've got a playlist with a ton of videos you can check that out right here watching more videos truly helps me out and of course when you subscribe like and comment thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you being here all right until the next video i hope you have a great one you guys i'll see you then bye